If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwitty here back again with another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. And guys, we've got some breaking news today on your screen. This is tweeted from the EA Sports Mutt account. Tomorrow's golden ticket will be golden ticket Antonio Gates, middle linebacker. So, this is the first out of position golden ticket that we have seen this year. And I'm telling you guys, I've said it before in videos, I've said it in previous years. Out of position cards are the way to go with golden tickets in my opinion. And there's a lot of reasons for it. I know a lot of people are going to talk about, why didn't you just make Anthony Barr? And, and I get that to some extent. And I'll explain why I think that there's a little bit of a difference between those cards here in just a few moments. But with that being said, guys, take a look at these attributes. Absolutely epic. A big, big upgrade from the middle linebacker card that he had at the beginning of the game. By the way, first of all, I love the signature cards. The signature cards are definitely the way to go in the terms of the artwork. These things look freaking awesome. The Tebow one was really cool. The Gates one is really cool. But aside from that, the actual attributes on these cards are awesome as well. 95 speed. Uh, you've got 99 awareness if you care about that. Tackling 102. Play recognition in 85. That's a little low, I'm not going to lie, but I still think if you're user controlling this card, it's probably the best card in the game to user control. 97 block shed, 99 pursuit. 80 for zone coverage, still, that's, I'm not going to lie, that's pretty mediocre uh, for a golden ticket card. But again, if you're user controlling him, it doesn't matter. And 101 for a hit power, absolutely crazy stuff. Not to mention, guys, this card had really great catching attributes to begin with. So what I'm going to do right now is pop up the original one on the screen right next to it so you guys can get an idea of kind of what those this card upgrades, at least on the attributes that we see on the on the screen, okay? So there are going to be other attributes that get upgraded on this as well. So if you didn't see the uh, the original one here, the um, the Antonio Gates was actually, I believe, 81 overall, I believe. Um, so that's a very, very low card to upgrade to a 99 overall. So what ends up happening is that you get these massive increases on major things that we care about. So for example, speed went up 11 to a 95 speed. That's insane. Tackling went up 10. Play recognition itself went up 8. Block shedding went up 16. Pursuit went up 12. Zone coverage went up 8. Hit power went up 14. Awareness went up 3. And you still have amazing catching attributes on this card as well. So, I mean, obviously, you know Antonio Gates was, uh, you know, he's one of the best tight ends in NFL history. So, other than the fact that he's really never played middle linebacker, we still know that he has, uh, you know, good attributes as far as, like, just going around and catching the ball. So, if you actually took a look at his uh, at his middle linebacker card, and excuse me, by the way, I just pulled it up on Mudhead. Um, he was a uh, an 83 overall, not an 85 overall, but still. He increased his overall by 16 to go to this golden ticket. And that's why I think it's such a big thing here. So uh, the thing is, though, is on this original card, it's not going to show up on your screen here because we can't really compare the two uh, based on the fact that we can't see the other attributes for this Antonio Gates card, the golden ticket one. But the original card had 92 catching. It also had an 80 for a catch in traffic and a 90 for spectacular catch so it was already one of the best catching middle linebackers in the game I wouldn't be surprised to see those attributes go up a couple as well in addition to all these other things that got increased so you're talking about a six foot four middle linebacker that has 92 catching at a bare minimum and uh, 90 for a spec catch at a minimum along with a jumping attribute that is at least going to be a 93 if not more so that is absolutely amazing. I'm a, definitely a big fan of this card. I personally believe, again, that this is the best usage so far that we've seen out of a golden ticket card. I really, truly do. Now, I mentioned before that I was going to uh, talk a little bit just for a few minutes here about why I believe that the out-of-position players are better to upgrade than the standard players. So, like, for example, guys... I, I got a tweet from somebody because I actually made a tweet saying that this is how you should do golden tickets. Like, if, if you open a golden ticket, in my opinion, if you want to get the best usage out of it, you should do some sort of out-of-position player. Now, I'm not going to say necessarily that I would have chosen uh, Antonio Gates to do, but 
if you're looking for a card to upgrade, I mean, definitely Gates is one that you could look at because he has some attributes that are really, really good that don't really affect his overall that much, such as the catching. Now, if you compare the Anthony Barr to Antonio Gates, you see it's hard It's hard for me to show it on the screen here, but um, I'll show you guys. The Antonio Gates had, uh, like I said before, had in the 90s for catching, okay? So it had a, like a 92 for catching. Now, Anthony Barr, the highest overall Anthony Barr, the 97 Anthony Barr positional hero, only has a 76 for catching. Now, don't get me wrong. The bar is much better in a lot of other areas. You know, you look at your zone coverage and you look at uh, pretty much any of those type of attributes defensively. He's going to be much better than Gates. Of course, we know that. But the beauty of Antonio Gates is that he has to go from an 83 overall all the way up to a 99 overall, which means they have to increase a lot of different attributes, not just a couple. They're not just going up one or two. They're increasing all of these things like you see on your screen by a shitload. Like, it's it's amazing. And that's why I love these out-of-position cards. We've seen it in previous years. When you have the free safety Calvin Johnsons, for example. When you have the uh, out-of-position, um, when they did the Donald Penn. When somebody made tight end Donald Penn in Madden 25. Remember how much of a freaking freight train that card was? That thing was insane. I mean, I said that that was the best card in Madden 25, period, for the whole year. In my personal opinion, tight end Donald Penn, made by BU Tweezy, was the best card in Madden 25, despite the fact that he was like 80, I think he was like 86 speed or something like that. But like his other attributes were so insane because he was an out of position card that when they increased him to a 99 overall, he still kept all those crazy attributes that he had for strength and run blocking and everything like that. And he increased speed and it, all the other ones went up as well. So that's why I look at these cards and I just say the out of position cards are the way to go. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think? Uh, I If I were making a golden ticket this year, I definitely would have done an out of position card if they would have allowed it. I hear rumors that they would not allow people to do a free safety Calvin Johnson. And a lot of people took that as that you couldn't do out of position cards at all, which apparently is, is untrue. It sounds to me like the, f the reason that they couldn't do free safety Calvin Johnson was because they lost the rights to, to make new Calvin Johnson cards once he retired from the NFL. And that actually makes a lot of sense because the NFL PA contract situation becomes an issue at that point. And they would actually have to go in and get specific rights from Calvin Johnson to make more additional mutt cards of him. So... We might see that in the future, but I, I guess we didn't have it this year. So that's why I think Calvin Johnson was off the table for an out-of-position player. But at the same time, though, you could do um, a free safety or a strong safety Julio Jones. I think that was in this year's game. Uh, but there were a whole bunch of other players as well to do. Quarterback Walter Payton probably would have been the guy that I did. I think that his attributes were freaking insane. And uh, definitely would have been an amazing card to have a golden ticket of. If you, if you look at it and you really break it down, I think quarterback Walter Payton would have been absolutely ridiculous. I know a lot of people are going to say Denard Robinson would have been great too. I think I would like Walter Payton better because his base rushing attributes were better. So you wouldn't have to increase any of those. And obviously his uh, all of his throwing attributes would go up as well. So you wouldn't have to worry about that. So uh, I think I would like Walter a little bit more than Denard Robinson. But, you know. You say tomato, I say tomato. I think both of them would have been amazing choices for golden tickets, just like this Antonio Gates is, and just like every other out-of-position golden ticket that's ever been made has been amazing. So with that being said, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and guys, I will be doing some pack openings to try and get this Antonio Gates tomorrow. Hopefully we'll pull one. We'll see what happens. Thanks again, guys, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.